<laughs> Nobody makes me laugh more than my brother. Like, like women hate him. He's really funny, but he's not dinner party funny. <laughs> he's where the spoon's funny, right? <laughs> I'll give you an example, right? We were at a humanist wedding. Like, they didn't have hymns. They selected their own music. The bride, quite a big girl, she walked down the aisle to the theme tune from Jurassic Park. Now, <laughs> I'm not a bad guy, but when you're sat next to your brother and there's a lady just... <laughs> My little brother got a glass of water and went... You're like... <laughs> He's evil, but I love him. <laughs> we were thrown out of a one-year-old's birthday party last year. <laughs> a one-year-old's, right? We got presents, it was for my nephew. We were convinced they were hilarious, right? They backfired so badly, we arrived. It's like toys and teddy bears and loveliness. And straight away, we're like, oh, God. Well, we badly misjudged this. <laughs> and my sister's like, oh, look! The uncle for here. What have you got for baby? I mean, for baby. <laughs> Here you have, yeah. What have you got? All the other mums. Yeah, she asked you a question. <laughs> what have you got for baby? <laughs> yeah, Mr. I'm on the telly and I'm funny. <laughs> what have you got for baby in front of all the new mums? Uh, no, nothing, ma'am. Get your fucking present out now. <laughs> and I handed the child a present and I've never heard silence like it. The T-shirt I got him was a T-shirt, a Game of Thrones T-shirt for a one-year-old that said, crows before hoes. <laughs> Just nothing. Yeah, well, if you'd have been there, it would have been absolutely fine. But my brother's present was even more incendiary. He simply pulled out a condom and threw it at the child. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't even the worst thing that happened. About an hour later at this party, one of the mums went, I'm worried about paedophiles. And my brother went, I think you're a bit old. And <laughs> I thought the room was going to melt, right? But listen to this. She wasn't finished. This poor woman wandered into my brother's trap. She's like, I don't mean me. <laughs> I mean my baby. <laughs> my brother looked at her child and went, oh, come on, you'll be all right. That <laughs> actually happened. My sister's like, I'd like you to leave. Why have I got to leave? I didn't even say anything. Yeah, but you were laughing at him. <laughs> say sorry, they became 12 in front of all these adults. Say no, no, I'm saying sorry, absolutely not. I refuse to apologize. That's an ugly kid, that's fat. <laughs> it is. I mean, you know, he'll probably grow up and have a lovely personality, you yeah? <laughs> know? He fucking have to, he looks like a bollock. <laughs> An hour later, we're walking home. <laughs> he did look like a bollock, Russ. <laughs> But that's my brother. Do you know what my brother's ambition in life is? All he wants to do is appear on Take Me Out so he can come down the love lift, look at all the girls and go, nah. <laughs> that's what he wants to do.